Well, good afternoon. Um, let me introduce you to uh, Rob and Sue, who are the proud owners of a new coffee shop in uh, Harlington, a little village just outside Bedford, uh, which is north of London for anybody who's not, uh, not in the UK. And uh, we worked with them last year during lockdown to open Hub and Spoke. And we thought it'd be a great idea to just go through some of the key learnings they had um, it, uh, so that if you're thinking of opening a coffee shop at the moment, then um, you might learn from their experience. So do you want to give us a quick introduction, Rob and Sue, about what we, how you, how you came about with this great idea of opening a coffee shop? So I'll start and you can interject. So we were both in corporate world and obviously working at home during COVID, looking after um, Rob's mother at home. And um, we were on holiday in Wales, I think, weren't we? And we just mm -hmm. had a day of like dreams and thinking what we would like to do. And long story short, we, we, we decided what we wanted to do was open a bike shop selling coffee on the side. And when we got back, there was a unit for rent in our village, which was a coffee shop, which looked ideal for that idea. Yeah. Um, so I went to do some research on uh, trying to get bikes uh, uh, sourced for the uh, what was a previously a coffee shop, uh, but changing it into a concept such as sales of bikes and coffee on the side. But uh, as you can imagine, during COVID, um, uh, scarcity of bikes as well as bike parts were struggling. Hard. So uh, uh, we we ended up sort of turning the model around a little bit to uh, actually have a bike and walkers themed cafe, uh, and very much go down the line of uh, making this into a proper venture in the cafe sector. So there was a moment in time at which we decided actually we're going to open a coffee shop rather yep. than a bike shop selling coffee. Yep. I still want to open a bike shop. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. So, so what? Perhaps we can just. What I'd like to cover really is the sort of key moments in your journey. Really, the sort of from the aha moments. If there's any, you know, if there's anything uh, before we start that you think, well, is there a real aha moment there that um, you um, well, that you haven't well, even considered? Well, neither of us had come from the hospitality sector, but uh, uh, we, well, I'd been involved with the food industry for over 30 years, but I uh, thought that that may be a kind of a good end to the, uh, to the, uh, the cafe sector. But the aha moment really for us was, uh, where do we start? Realising we didn't know anything yeah. about any of it. Yeah. Getting in a bit of a panic and thinking, actually, we literally know nothing. Yeah. Um, uh, there was another aha, which was realising that my passion in life is my community and what I do with it. And Rob's was bikes. And you could combine the two. So there were two things that we can do this, but we don't know how to do it. Yeah. Mm. No, I think that's really, um, really interesting because that community thing has come through all the way through, Sue, all the way through. Yes. And the design and the bike thing has come through in the design of the, and I'll put some photos on the video oh. at, at the end of, of what you've achieved, but I think you've achieved a fantastic mm. uh, look and feel of the place. And, you know, it's got that, you know, uh, it's a community shop, but it's got a bike thing. Yeah. And it's really well done. Because yeah. um, you opened uh, in, you know, you opened in COVID, so you couldn't have picked, yeah. you couldn't have picked the worst time to start building no. a 17th of March. 17th of March, from the, from the door, yeah. from the front yeah. door, yeah. And, and in fact, it was a bit of a blessing because because we didn't have much of an idea. Yes, you, you'd helped uh, uh, help pr promote the whole situation and what to expect. But from a kind of practical point of view on the operations side, uh, we were naive uh, yeah. and serving people from the door helped us in order to get the orders, put it through the till and then take it to the kitchen to get the panic the in the it. kitchen. Oh, yeah. yeah, nobody could see the panic. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I suppose that the point there is that actually with the help and guidance we had, we felt we were ready to open. Actually, we probably yeah. weren't quite ready, if you remember that discussion at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we got by because of the confidence it gave us. Um, yeah. So, yeah, because yeah. yeah. there won't be COVID hopefully in future, but it, it, yeah. it, confidence to do it was, was huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so talking on that theme, how, how did we uh, work with you as a team? And, um, and what value did we bring to you going through from you know, from conception to opening the doors to, to now, sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, so I start and you, you can yeah, okay. in. So for me, it was quite a challenge for Rob to actually invest in something like this, because it's unknown of him and he wouldn't, it, it, it wasn't, he couldn't see a bit of equipment, but actually it was a great, probably the best decision we've known. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll say what I think and from, from how we worked with you, well, 
Um, we've got a phrase in our cafe, which is you, you come as a guest and you leave as a friend. And that's how it felt like working with you two. It's like there's a consultancy arrangement and actually you realize halfway through you care about each other and you're yeah. going to help us. And we, we, you care about us and care about our business. Yeah. Um, so you so, came as a consultant yeah. and, and are leaving as friends yeah. effectively. Yeah. And, uh, long may that relationship continue. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. True, I, true. We feel that as well, actually. And, yeah. and the biggest things for me, I've done this sort of little note in front of me, I was thinking about it this morning, were absolutely amazing contacts. So from food to decor, and you can maybe come onto the decor in a minute, to ideas, to equipment, to just thinking about what we're trying to do, contacts we didn't have. Um, reassurance that you've been there and done it and actually it is going to work if we keep doing what you tell us to do processes to follow yeah. and I think we talked about this morning it's a kind of knowing eye being calm in a crisis a knowing eye that says look you'll be able to do this we'll move that way you make these decisions you'll be okay tomorrow when you've done it your combined experience I think is uh, over 30 years in the coffee sector which mm -hmm. uh, sort of funneled down through to us has been uh, these guys know what they're talking about we think we know what we're talking about but we actually need the the holding of hand process for the six months before we opened up so we we engaged in september last year 2020 uh and we opened in march mid-march during with covid and that gave us six months to prepare to talk about designs to talk about menus to talk about processes mm -hmm. and then from september sorry from march onwards uh, you've been there to give us that sort of uh, hand on the tiller as I call it mm. you know we, we think we're going in one direction with the boat and that two degrees off course is actually going to cost an awful lot of money uh, in the yeah. long run so yeah. you're pulling yeah. the tiller back into course and making sure that we're going to be profitable at the end of the day yeah yeah that's interesting because somebody said to us at the beginning you must be mad you're never going to make any money it won't make any money but working with your processes and applying the common sense all the way through says actually you can make this profitable as well as thoroughly enjoy it yeah. Um, yeah. and I picked out two things there one is the look and feel of the place and the other mm -hmm. was our processes and they're the two things I think yeah. that have got us to where we are today so one of our journeys up to our holiday home is uh, a result of me drawing madly kind of designs of the place mm. on, a, on a scrap of piece of pad. Uh, and one of your contacts, Simon Hall, was able to uh, uh, oh, pull, all, pull it all together. Mm. And that was a wonderful thing for me, well, during COVID, to help put the place together with the aid of workmen in, in, the, in the business to actually give them a CAD drawing of yeah. what my dreams yeah. and expectations were yeah. supposed yeah. to be. So it made sure that there wasn't any of the elements of surprise when you give the, the tile of the yeah. instructions to put uh, tiles here, there and everywhere. He's got a map to yeah. work on and that really helped. Yeah. Electricians, yeah. Uh, you know, joiners, all that, all those guys who helped put this place together, the wonderful work you can see behind us. Yeah. It all came through uh, the, the ideas I had, which were amalgamated, not just the physical, but even the kind of points of paint. I mean, I didn't know what kind of color paint to put on the walls, but the guy yeah. who, he, sent uh, who yeah. he sent samples of our leathers and our, and our color swatches for the walls, and it's all just blended in beautiful. Yeah, I think that yeah. for, for me, that was one of the massive successes of the thing that helped you along. Yeah. Um, we worked with Simon on our own yeah. business a number of years ago, but seeing what he did mm -hmm. for you and how he sort of brought your dream to life and actually produced something that is, you know, you could, you could cook cookie cutter that now yeah. almost. Yeah. Um, it's, how, yeah. around, it's what we imagined it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's interesting. We're closed now, but there's still people are still trying to get in. <laughs> <laughs> I think the lights are on. I've seen the lights are on. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing, processes to me, you know, we've got these two magic books, ingredients and allergens, and then the actual management book. And that was a game changer for us, actually having processes everybody knew about and could follow, got our first inspection straight through, and all the staff know what, what, what's in that book and how to do things. Mm -hmm. And it makes the place feel lovely as well. Yeah. It's, it's confidence. I mean, uh, my previous world was uh, making food in a factory. Uh, and what was confident for me is that having a BRC process to be able to make sure that food, food was good enough and suitable to eat. Well, this is very much the same area. And if I can rely on my staff all following the same procedures, then I can go away from this operation and let them run the place when in our absence with the absolute confidence. So, so going there, where you helped, because that was the point of that, is telling us what procedures we needed, what they looked like, where, where they go in the book, how best to present them. Um, we've got procedures for how you make a cup of coffee, you know, how you make our hot chocolate, how you do a bacon uh, baguette in a roll, how long it takes. So we're, we're aiming for consistency and that's given us nowadays a lot of consistency. Those things are really important, I think, and are often overlooked by 
um, yeah. and, and the very it, it's, it's testament to the fact you're able to, to not be in the coffee shop because you went on holiday a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks yeah, ago. Yeah. We went away for three or four days. Yeah. 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 It was a chance after six months to yeah. have a kind of a regroup. a regroup of our thoughts and where we want to go for chapter yeah. two because chapter one was to actually open. We have a we had an opening ceremony two weeks before. Uh, well, an open day. We've yeah, already been open. Yeah, yeah. It, we've been open since March the seventeenth, but I was still building the actual seating area yeah. until mid July, end of July. And we, we we wanted to kind of say thank you to our customers who have supported us through COVID through the first six months, and also our suppliers. So we invited everybody to come over and uh, and enjoy what's the fruits of all our labour of putting this place together as we'll be in a bit. But, but you're right because of what we learned and we did with you, we felt we could go away for a few days yeah. within six months. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, when, and when you came back. It was all yep. still standing. <laughs> people do say they missed us, us as people. They do often say, "I popped in and you weren't there," but we knew it would run. It would run like clockwork without. Yeah. Good. Right. And you would be amazed how many coffee shop owners out there are afraid, mm-hmm. or, it, or 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 it's completely impossible for them to to step away from the business. So that's a real testament yeah. to your um drive and success and documenting of the of the of the place yeah. really so it well, does run without you the other thing on that note was i remember you us me and robert saying to you don't keep talking about staff and people because we, we never have any mm-hmm. we, we don't we won't ever need staff there's no we can't think of any reason we would and here we are with five or six people now working yep. with us so yep. and we do need them and yep. You know, it's the only yeah. way to make we, the we thought work. we were going to do it for the first year yeah. under our own steam, but uh, from day one, it was obvious that uh, the queues out the, but, out but the door. But again, solid advice from you yeah. two. Yeah. We, it, back of my mind, is that well, Claire and Colin said this was going to be the case. Yeah. So Karen said this was going to be the case. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It was Andrew and Claire. Yes, because yeah. my, my, <laughs> my new best, my lodge is called Claire. And my, <laughs> <laughs> we've just seen them. My, no. That was my other partner. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 will often, we will often have a conversation, me and Rob, doing something. We were like, oh, yeah, they said they said that w- this would happen, you know, and yeah. it's, it's we learned to trust that information and advice, even if sometimes we had a different w- thought about the way of doing things. Yeah. I mean, so, okay. well, yeah. I was going to say something about the the important part, which we kind of uh, we 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 got to the EPOS point in our decisions mm-hmm. making. Mm-hmm. Says, uh, you you helped us very much uh, so. go through the kind of the the, uh, the the puzzle of trying to decide which till to use, which system, the back office system to work. And I remember on day one, I think we had two buttons on our till, which was coffee and cake. <laughs> <laughs> you helped build that all up to be. The, 800 odd different varieties of flavors of food and drinks that we've got but that was what you did for us mm, and uh, mm. I didn't know where to start and this is this is the problem we had during COVID we didn't have any advice from any of our suppliers on a physical one-to-one basis we had to do it all by by zoom or, or, or whatever and it was very very hard unless we had somebody who'd been there before knew what to put on the till uh, and that's where you guys stepped in mm. admirably. Is there, is there anything along the journey that took a lot longer than you thought or was much quicker than you thought or or anything that was more expensive than you had budgeted for or much equipment. cheaper? Equipment. So we weren't planning to get a pizza table. We weren't planning. We've got a new hot box up in the back here, which you probably haven't seen. Yeah. We weren't. There's a lot, a lot a lot more than we thought yeah yeah it's the planning of the equipment as well the ergonomics for the kitchen and again you helped yeah. us out on that yeah. so uh, you want your coffee machine there you want your pizza machine there you want your table for this and your table for that and again having never been in that position before we were kind of going okay so let's try and plumb everything out so yeah. you've got to pl- you've got to have this in mind before you actually start designing so that took longer kitchen. than we thought fitting yeah. it all together yeah. what went quicker than we thought well we had a queues outside on day one we thought we wouldn't have any customers <laughs> But that first week, we're just looking at all these cyclists and people standing outside thinking, oh, OK, this is probably going to work. Yeah. So that was, yeah. how it took off was a surprise to both of us. Mm. Good. good. Oh, well, that's excellent because uh, yeah. your marketing was good. You, you, held, you, you were good on the socials from the beginning and um, that, that, that worked really well. You've got a loyal following there. And that was a learning curve as well. Sue and I had never really did the social media before, but uh, I'd never posted on Facebook ever yeah. or any any other ever until yeah. we started the cafe. Yeah. And you're now, doing a grand every, job every now. morning. Every morning I'm out there. <laughs> yeah, no, your socials now are great, and it just becomes part of the DNA of your business. And you're telling because it's not it's not your customer's job to remember you're open; it's your job to remind them yes. you're open. 
Yeah. And there was another bit of useful help from you because I think you said to me, just tell your story and be who you are. You don't need it to be all fancy. You don't need all these campaigns. Just tell your story. And they're the days people come in and say, I've just seen that. I want some of what you've just talked about this yeah. morning. Yeah. Is there anything that um, we've sort of, um, you know, broken record or, or um, you're thinking, oh, no, we've said that again and we keep on nagging you? Is it, we, I felt at some stage I was nagging you a little bit on a couple <laughs> of little things. Yeah, I can't quite remember what they were, but you were nagging margin. correctly. Margin, I'm always margin. <laughs> margin, yeah. <laughs> and following whoever you are, I'm with you all the we're way on that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, margin, yeah. So we've got some very low margin and some very high margin, but what we've learned to do is specials with the things that we know are, are high margin, but still keep some of the lovely, amazing biscuits that are not making any yeah. money in with that. So, and people are liking that. They, they, they understand. Um, yeah. Our customers understand that. Yeah. Um, what else did they nag us about? Um, <laughs> oh, just, just. I've got a long list here. <laughs> just filling in, you know, we were terrible at going, well, we'll look at the paperwork later, yeah. you know. So, so, so the bacon, the, for example, the bacon baguette looks different every time. If we bother to write it down, follow your procedures, take the pictures and leave it in there, it's the same every time. Getting the consistency right, yeah. The bit of nagging about consistency, wasn't there? Um, or when customers come for an experience, whether it's food, whether it's ambience, the whether it's the people, yeah. they want the same experience time and time again. So you, yeah. you've just got to button down the, you know, what are you are offering? Yeah. Make sure it's the same each time. Yeah. 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 To, to yeah. Make anything else, mainly, mainly that, wasn't it? Yeah. I think that the thing I was just, I'm really pleased that you mentioned that pricing and margin thing. But mm. the good thing is that you, you are in a very small minority of coffee shop owners that actually now know exactly what their margins are on every single product. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Amazing yeah. how many people we yes. come across even being open years haven't got a clue. And it's a bit of a it's a bit of a surprise that they actually make any money at all or not. Yeah. Well, it again comes back down to the advice you gave us on the on the EPOS system. And uh, had we not chosen the right one, we probably wouldn't have the sort the of insight. Yeah. And my mm. accountant wouldn't have the insight. And he's got access to that information, which helps us again guide us down the right route as well. Yeah. Mm. So was there any uh, anything uh, really unexpected that you didn't expect to? to come up against yeah. what? Uh, the long hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not based my, on the, the my, my, my pipe dream of opening a coffee shop and cycling to work at nine o'clock in the morning and leaving at four o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> with, a, with a belly of care in my mind. No, that's it, 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 both Sue and I have become very passionate about this business, about mm, the people, yeah. about the food and about the whole place. In fact, this cafe probably looks better than our house does at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it it so much our house. But uh, the 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 aspect of you know you know it, it is a long it's it's a long day when you certainly for us because we've got pieces as part of our operation uh, and adding that has been a, a good section to the the, the the bottom line of our business. Uh, and that being the case, we've had to put an extra three or four hours in each day to make sure that happens as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, hospitality mm. is typically uh, a long a long hours business but fundamentally you're you've decided not to open every single day so you you, mm -hmm. you get a you get a guarantee two days off a week yeah. um, and you're still making money so it's um and and you know what it, it and it, it's not long hours we were home by half past five yesterday it, it feels long you know it, yeah. but it's enjoyable long hours neither of us would go back to our previous businesses it's a different kind of long hours it's a exhausting but Yes. thoroughly enjoyable standing on your feet for 12 yeah. 14 hours is actually quite a challenge as well <laughs> yeah yes oh. so in terms of in, in terms of summing up mm. um you know if you were so i know you've all already recommended us because we spoke to some people earlier this week mm. um but if you were to talk to yourself or to somebody like you now you know what what piece of advice number one or number two pieces of advice would you give them before starting off do you want to? Um, we'll do the same. I'll answer you. Um, absolutely, a hundred percent. We would not be where we are with that if we hadn't done this. It's the best money we've spent since we since we started yep. thinking this yep. idea through. Isn't it? Absolutely, um, for all the reasons I've given. Um, I think that as well. I, I spoke to one of your uh, potential customers when I was at the Excel exhibition a couple of weeks ago. And I just said, "You think you know what you, you, yeah. you want now? Yeah. Well, what you actually haven't got is the insight these two have got. So yeah. just you know, make that investment because they'll the, the money you spend will come back and uh, in, and reward you in you know within weeks of you opening really because you'll have yeah. made the right yeah. 
decisions at the cutting point when you need to make those decisions. When you when you start this, if you're anything like us and you've not done it before, you don't know what you don't know, and you two do know what we don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that. Can yeah. I? Can I? Um, can I? I'll, I'll write that down. Hang on, I'm writing. Yeah. I'm writing it now. No, no, that, that, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And and I won't. I don't want to make light of the fact that we really like working with you as well. There are people you can get a lot from, but don't necessarily care, but you actually really care. I mean, you came down here and spent the day with us watching us fight and argue and burst into tears, you know. Yeah. Not many people would do that. Yeah. Can I just point out that, that you, it was you two arguing, not us arguing with you? Yeah, I think the previous <laughs> time we came down, we had an argument, so. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> because we care. Yeah. Yeah. We care. We yeah. care about this place. We care about what we're doing. You care about what you're doing. You care about us, and you care about how this all works. That's a. It's a. You know, not to be underestimated. Mm. No. No. Yeah. I, I make that investment. It's. It's a good thing to do. Yeah. It's. Uh, it'll. It, you'll. You'll pay for itself. Within, within, my it'll pay for itself within a matter of weeks. You're opening up about it. Thank you. Well, thank you very much indeed. And I will. Um, yeah, I'll put some little photos of mm. the. Of your shop on the on the end of the video but that's great and thank you for spending your your um your mm. day off talking to us yes we for, really appreciate yeah that. really appreciate it <laughs> take care cheers bye yeah. okay. bye yeah.